Hello everyone and welcome back to the iHack build project. This is part three where I'm basically just going to build the machine. So this is post commentary that I'm doing now and I'll just basically go through the steps that I've done to build this machine. Uh, I haven't included things like the Wi-Fi and stuff because I don't actually need them right now just because this is my audio workstation, don't want to be distracted by internet if possible. But uh, I'll add stuff like that in later, it's not really important, this is just the core components. So first off you'll see me install the power supply unit, I apologise for the, the, the NAF camera angle because uh, it was actually balancing on my chair and it just kind of lost its balance, tilted upwards so you couldn't actually see me install the power supply but um, it's uh, fairly easy to install, you just place it on, make sure the screws are lined up, screw it in and you're set to go. Uh, like I said this power supply is modular which makes it so 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 much easier to just tidy up. Uh, you'll see me just put all the cables through the back as well and just make sure everything's nice and tidy uh, inside. I think I just took the back cover off as well just to make it a little bit easier to uh, manage my cables because I want a nice clean inside this time. Moving on to the motherboard. Not really much to say, it does look like a fantastic motherboard, nicely colour coded. Uh, it's got everything you want in it, there's the um, there's the, the back plate for the, the, the case and there's the SATA cables and the booklet and you really want to pay close attention to what this gives you. I have no idea what that was by the way. Uh, whatever it gave me there, I'll need to look it up in the manual, I didn't see it, I didn't actually need it but I was just like what on earth is this? Um, so yeah, that's the unboxing of the motherboard. So I'll just move it over, take a look, take it out of its uh, packaging. Got my trusty knife with me. You always want to be careful when taking it out of the pack packaging. I always hold it by the, 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 I can't remember what they're called, they're like heat sinks or chipsets or something, uh, just above the CPU. So I just always hold it by that because it's one of the most secure places and it's not you know, covered with silicon. So just be very, very, very careful and always take the, uh, the protector, the socket protector off the off the CPU socket before you put your CPU in, otherwise it'll, it could damage it because you'll be putting unneeded pressure onto the processor. So at the moment I'm just installing the i7 processor, just making sure it all lines up nicely because you don't want to put it in the wrong way. It won't let you put it in the wrong way, but I just wanted to guide it in, make sure it all fits in there uh, just fine. And don't be gentle with um, putting the clamp down because it is quite a stiff thing, it's got to hold it in place. So just really push it down there, make sure you can get it wedged in. Moving on to the, uh, the cooler, the CPU fan, the stock that comes with it, it's really good. It's exactly the same or very, very similar at least to the last generation, uh, what they've done. It comes with a thermal paste already on it, so you don't need to do anything with that. You just put it on and then you're set to go. So here I am putting the back plate on and, and fiddling around with, fiddling about, sorry, with the fan. And at that point as well, uh, I couldn't really screw in the, the risers, so your motherboard or case, sorry, comes with risers that separate the motherboard from the case itself, so metal is not touching like metal directly and, and stuff. So just make sure you put them on correctly. In this case, um, it's got nice little guides where you put them, but I took a kind of, uh, I've done this off camera and I just screwed them all in um, flat down and then attach my motherboard. It's not really hard to do, just make sure it uh, fits in nice and snugly. At this point as well, I didn't need this extra bay uh, in the middle of my case, so I decided to take it out. I can always put it back in if I ever expand and need more hard drives or anything, anything like that, but at the moment it's just, it's space and I don't really want it to be used up. So I took it out, now there's a nice kind of clean window straight through the computer. And now we're about to install the SSD drive, so take out the bay, and of course unpack the SSD. It's remarkably simple to install, you just screw it in and then plop it in and then for the rest of the video it's mostly just dealing with cables so you have to be very very careful in putting the computer uh, computer together so I'm going to fast forward through a lot of this it's going to be this is going to be quite a quick video because um, you know installing the big parts it doesn't take a lot of time of course if you have a graphics card you can see the orange slots there you just put them in there of course take out the uh, the protective covering for the back uh, just basically put whatever slots you've got in there it's really really easy and you can see already it's it's a lot tidier than what my actual gaming PC was I don't know if I have a picture to share with you but yeah I'm just making sure the cables are all in making sure the powers all connected and please 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 consult the manuals 
whilst doing this because your motherboard may be different and just make sure you have everything in the right place make sure all the fans are plugged into the right places if they're all the pins are together just make sure it all fits please otherwise you might break something And that's pretty much the whole build. It's uh, it was relatively simple. Didn't take that long to do.